welcome back. Well, um, today we're going to be talking about the anatomical terms of the human body. All right. So what is the anatomical position? So we're looking at this diagram right here. This is what it looks like. Body erect. So the person has to be standing up straight um, and the feet have to be slightly apart with the palms facing forward with the thumbs pointed away from the body. If the patient or the individual is unable to stand like this, then we are going to say they are not in the correct anatomical position. So maybe they're a little slouched over or something like that, that would um, negate them being in the anatomical position. It's also very important to note that you, the right and left that we're referring to in the body region is that of the individual, of the person, not yours. A lot of medical errors have occurred because, you know, the wrong leg or limb was marked because you're like, oh, this is my right, so this must be the patient's right also, and then, you know, thereby amputating the wrong limb, so you wouldn't want to do that. So here on this slide, we're going to be talking about the terms. So the first one I'm, I'm going to be talking about will be the term superior. Superior means above, at the top, um, and the opposite of that will be inferior, beneath or below. And I have an example here that the head is superior to the rest of the body, right? For, and for example, your feet will be inferior compared to the rest of your body. And then we also have another term called cranial, which means the cranial cavity, which is the head area. And the opposite of that would be the caudal. Caudal actually means tail, but you know we know humans don't have tail, but this is what we refer to. And um, do not confuse caudal with inferior. Um, it just means it hence at the level right before it gets to the limb area. And then we have here the anterior or ventral portion, which means the front of, and the opposite of that will be posterior or dorsal, which means the back. And the example I have here will be the swellings at the posterior part of or dorsal part of the leg. You're gonna know where to look at if you're reading the notes or someone is you know, telling you where the swelling is located right or a lady complains of pain in the anterior neck right you're not going to be looking at the back you're not going to be looking at the abdomen region the other parts will be the other term will be proximal and distal proximal means closer to all right and distal means at, at a distance so the example i have here will be the fingers are distal at a distance from the shoulder and then um, while proximal would be the neck or the cervical region is proximal to the head, all right? Another term we have would be medial and lateral. Medial sounds like middle, at the midline, right? And so, for example, if there's a, we're going to use, there's a scar at the medial uh, portion of the abdomen. Lateral means to the side, um, so we'll use term like the man is unable to move his arm laterally to the side, right? So moving on to the other terms that we're going to use, these are going to be regional body terms. So we're going to start off with cephalic. Cephalic means head, um, kind of like cranium, but this is more specific. And under that, we're going to be talking about certain um, terms that fall that we can find in the cephalic region. The first part will be frontal. Frontal refers to the forehead, all right? Frontal starts with F, forehead starts with F. The orbital region would be the where the eyes are located, the orbit. The nasal region will be by the nose, the oral will be the mouth area, the entire mouth area. And then we have here below the cephalic region will be the cervical region, which is the neck. So think of cervical collar, all right? They say, you know, this is a cervical collar. You're going to know where to put the collar, and that would be by the neck area. And then right underneath, right um, below that, 
right? Inferior to the cervical would be the thoracic region. On the thoracic, we're gonna have the sternal region, we're gonna have the axillary. The axillary is the armpit area. Oh, I'm sorry, the cervical, sorry, the sternal region is gonna be the middle portion of the thoracic um, region. And like I said, the axillary will be the armpit area. Sometimes, you know, there might be an axillary temperature um, that needed to be taken. And then the mammary will be the breast area. Even though we're looking at a diagram of a male, we still refer to this as a mammary region. And then there's going to be inferior to the thoracic region will be the abdominal area. The main um, term here would be the umbilical region, umbilical area, which is the belly button where the belly button can be found. And inferior to that would be the pelvic region, all right? Sometimes some books will call it the abdominal pelvic region. And here we're going to find the inguinal region, right? Sometimes people have inguinal hernia, the groin area, all right? And then let's move on to the limbs. The upper limb, um, the main one here will be the brachial. Brachial refers to the arm. So you're going to take the blood pressure cuff has to be applied on the brachial region, all right? And then another term here will be antecubital, all right? The antecubital region um, is going to, or here they have antecubital, cubital is going to be where you're going to get the um, where you're going to draw blood from right um, and then the antibrachial is going to be the forearm region the forearm region is seen right here and then when we get to carpal when we get to carpal think of carpal tunnel syndrome so when someone has carpal tunnel syndrome, it's a wrist problem, right? It's not an ankle problem or a leg problem. So this is going to be um, the carpal refers to the wrist. And then we get to the lower area. We get to the lower limb. Um, we're going to have here the femoral. When we get to the um, bone structure, we're, um, skeletal system, we'll talk about the femur. So the thigh bone is called the femur. So we call this area the the femoral region the knee area will be the patella all right um after the bone the kneecap bone called patella all right and then we're going to have the fibula or the perineal um region that's going to be the side of the leg because that's where we're going to find um the bone the fibula and then when we get to the foot we're going to find the tarsal which will be the ankle area all right, after the bones that we find the ankle, the bones of the ankles are called the tarsal bones. And the ones connected to, the ones connected to the tarsal bones are gonna be the metatarsals. We're gonna be talking more about this when we get to the skeletal portion. Oh, and I also forgot to mention the pubic area is where we're gonna find the genitals. And onto the posterior or dorsal area, um, here under cephalic, we're going to see the otic. So for example, if they're otic um, drops, you're not going to put them in the eye. You're going to put them in the ears, all right? In the ear, we use the term occipital to refer to the back of the head. This is um, due to the occipital bone, which is located at the back of the head on the posterior portion of the head. Um, and then we're going to also find the term back or dorsal here, we're gonna see the scapula, which are the shoulder blades, the vertebral region, right, where you're gonna find your vertebral column, the spinal cord is are gonna be enclosed in a vertebral column. The lumbar region is um, used to refer to the lower back, all right, the lower back. And then you're going to find, we're going to be talking about the gluteal, the gluteus maximus, the medius, the minimus are the muscles that you find in the buttocks area, all right? And the perineal is gonna be like the area between the anus and the external genitalia, all right? Um, the popliteal is used to refer to the back of the knee. Do not confuse the patella 
region with the popliteal region. The popliteal is at the back, all right? And then you're going to find on the foot area, the calcaneal. Think of Achilles tendon, Achilles um, calcaneal tendon is another word for that, and that would be the heel. And then the plantar, when you're planting, right, putting your foot down, um, the sole of your feet, we use that term for the plantar. So that concludes our review of the terms of the human body. Thank you.